Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Yeah. So what do you guys better, think better. about all the people who are like ready for the apocalypse, who actually want an apocalypse? I don't think we're, we're, we're going to have an apocalypse, by the way. I don't really believe that at all. At all. No, I don't I don't think anyone really wants an apocalypse. Yeah, but, but, but you, they understand what that means. Yeah, but you it's must see those guys. About though. it for it all. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think there are a lot of people who haven't thought about it, who think they want it, who would be about forty-five minutes deep in the apocalypse and change their mind real quick. Mm -hmm. Real quick. But, mm -hmm. but but no, uh, -uh no. Yeah. Yeah. Just go just go hang out in Mogadishu for an hour. Yeah. And right. Come back. Yeah. Toilet paper. Come back and tell me how awesome it is. Yeah, toilet paper. And by the way, like I agree. I think I've said this before when people have asked me, like, what's the one thing you want in the apocalypse? I've said toilet paper myself. But I don't understand why everybody's getting all the toilet paper in the world. Where's that coming from? I, I, how could that be possible, Hank? You lived around the world. You know, there's places that don't have toilet paper. Oh, yeah. Lots of them. Yes, I live so there. The heck, <laughs> me too. So why the heck would you think? Yeah, <laughs> That's but, crazy. No, but listen. If someone asks me, I say that. But I have, like, I usually have enough toilet paper in my house for about, like, three months to six months at least. But, but I buy stuff in bulk. Um... But I don't think we're headed to apocalypse. So when all of this stuff started happening, I didn't go, oh, no, I got to go buy all the toilet paper in the world. Because the truth of the matter is you can stack your whole house with toilet paper. It's not enough if we go apocalypse. Right. And people are. Yeah. Right. What, right. what exactly is that going to do for you? You know, and, and then to go into the stores and see people leaving like canned food behind. And things like mm -hmm. that, when if they think it's going to be the apocalypse, what is any of that doing for you? Right. Yeah, we were talking before we went live, and I was actually in a grocery store today, and it was insane. Like, mm -hmm. I, I mean, it was – so we had here in North Carolina two years ago now a really bad hurricane, and some of you guys who watch the channel may know about it. I did a bunch of videos on it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I-95, which is a major corridor here, um, was shut down for three weeks. And so that was a big deal. So like big box stores and stuff, uh, trucks, that's the route. Like they're not going to go a back route. They're just going to go somewhere else until I-85 is open. Mm -hmm. So the grocery stores today were like it was back then. Wow. Like three wow. weeks into it with no deliveries. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Wow. wow. Okay. Um, I've, got some, I've got some questions here for Mike, which uh, let me see. I'll get to this. Tyvin Show says, ask Mike if he had camel for dinner. He's had camel for uh, dinner. I don't know if you want did, to admit it, did, but no. Did did we have camel at Ox Ranch? Maybe. I don't know. Were you that? Yeah, I don't. Remember. I was there, but you, I don't remember having camel yeah, unless you I don't guys think tricked you me. Had camel. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah, I don't. If not there, then no. I no. haven't had. Camel. Oh, okay. Okay. I would totally eat a camel. Though. Yeah. Hundred <laughs> percent. Um. Yeah, camels are pretty nasty. They're disgusting. Yeah, you don't. One of them. One of them. One of them licked Lola's face down there. One of them, <laughs> I, I saw did. Lola miss I got See, pictures of that. This is the thing. Yes. This is the difference between me and Lola. And Lola was born in Ghana, right? But uh, So I don't know if she ever dealt with camels before, but I've seen camels. And I know they're nasty. And I'm like, I'm standing way, and she's over there like, oh, they're so cute. And I was like, oh, I no, I don't think so. I don't think camels are cute at all. You know, but um, yeah. Yeah, she got some camel love out of that. So that's interesting. That's interesting. Planet Nut seven six seven asked this question. He says, uh, "I heard toilet paper and booze are the top barter currency. Is that true?" So that's I'm gonna... certainly possible. Yeah, the, um, people yeah, here, here in Vail, Iowa. There's plenty of booze on the shelves. I mean, you can't find toilet paper, except I found four rolls today, eight rolls today. But uh, there's lots of booze, lots of booze on the shelves here in, in South Central Iowa. There's lots here, too. Yeah. It's effort. Yeah, we got a lot of booze. We got a lot of booze. What do you guys <laughs> think about the fact that, like, all our medical supplies are coming from China? Is that, um, a, is that a good idea? <laughs> so I think, honestly, again, one of the positives that may come out of this long term mm -hmm. is people are awakening to that. And then from a business perspective i'm not talking a, 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 i'm not talking a foreign policy or a national policy but just from a business perspective 
a lot of companies right now, big companies that have even like small components made in China, mm-hmm. they can't deliver their final product because that small component is held up. So mm. I think they're going to realize that there's a value in having uh, duplicate duplicate capabilities. So spread out. So like whether it's a plant in China, a plant in Vietnam, a plant in China, a plant in Brazil, a mm-hmm. plant in China, a plant in America, whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. just having that capability has a lot of value there. And I know like just on a big name uh, front, uh, Apple is literally moving to do just that for this very reason. Yeah. So. Yeah. So we may see um, some industry come back to America. Yeah. And at least not so much be china like i know india right now is like on a their whole state department has a massive ad campaign right now move your business to india mm-hmm. <laughs> we don't have coronavirus but it's you know that's what they're is that's that what they're true pitching. that they don't have coronavirus though no they have coronavirus yeah, of course but they're, they do. They're, they're pitching essentially we're not china yeah know? yeah yeah everyone's gonna try to play that game china's gonna play that game yep they yeah. are I know China has been trying to like call every, everyone racist that says anything about them. So, I mean, there's you know, this is how it goes. I think that um, I think we are going to see. I agree with you. We're going to see that happen. What do you think, like money wise? What do you guys think money wise people should do? Because, like I'm saying, this is not the end of the world. People still have to live every day. What would you you know What would you recommend people do with their money? Do you think like from now on, just spend all your money on guns? Go back to what we had during the fire Armageddon, or well, I'm I'm always an advocate of that. Even well, even you, yes, I, we all we're always I'm, buying guns. Yeah, always yeah, <laughs> yeah. But what? But financially, how should people think about this? I mean, I think everyone's situation is so different that there's no way you can just give a blanket statement. I mean, there are there are companies that are making way more money. Mm-hmm. because of this there's okay. companies that are making no money because of this mm-hmm. there's people you know that are unaffected by it on their salary i mean there's there's so many different situations mm-hmm. and you know there's people that are in debt there's people that aren't there's mm-hmm. people that have basic supplies have a six month you know financial disaster mm-hmm. fund there's all you know so yeah. there's just no way do you to think be. the people in major um, debt are waiting for the apocalypse to release them to- <laughs> Like, yeah, this will save me. <laughs> that that or Bernie, one of the two. Oh, well. That's what, that's what they're hoping for. Good luck with that, man. Bernie's pretty much, yeah. What would he's be canceled. the difference between Bernie and the apocalypse? I'm, I'm mm. kind of dumbfounded here. What's a couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of, that's a good, that's funny. It's yeah. true. <laughs> it's true. Well, Feel the, the burn! This, but this, <laughs> this thing kind of like did, is going to deal, I know Bernie's still in the game, but this might deal the final blow to Bernie, I think. He de- no, I think it's the, I think it's the opposite. Really, if you look at his, his demographic is young voters. Okay. So in all these primaries and states where there's an elderly population that's at risk, they're less likely to go out and vote and be in a place there's just going to be you know transmissions. Young people don't care. Mm-hmm. They're out in South Padre Island, Texas. I don't know if you saw the photos of that this week. They're mm-hmm. going crazy out there. They're not they're not afraid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you know those are the folks that skew Bernie. So mm-hmm. and my if anything, it could help him. I don't I don't see any oh, okay. downside for him. Yeah, I mean I think he took the. Uh, well, he definitely, t- uh, not Bernie, but Biden took Florida here in the primaries mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And then there's some places that canceled primaries. I went and voted here in Florida. Florida did not cancel anything. Yeah. You know, but we, right, we're but a Florida. lot of people didn't come out. Uh, yeah, yeah, is that, so is that the numbers? A lot of people didn't come out because of what's going on? Right, yeah, um, an elderly demographic. And then apparently Bernie, if it, to win the nomination, which there's so much that mm-hmm. goes into that in the Democrat Party, the way they do their mm-hmm. delegates. Um, but to, yeah. right, so, so, so to win it just by math, not mm-hmm. necessarily reality, mm-hmm. but by math, he has to win 60% of the remaining ones. So it's not crazy. Mm. Okay. Richard Resnick says Bernie is louder than the apocalypse. Yeah. Let's see. I think that the, 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 everything that's happening is kind of helping Biden also because uh, we're not seeing him as much. So <laughs> yep. less probability yep. of saying something crazy. You know, Agreed. yeah, he's not out there um, like in the face of that guy. I wonder if that guy that, uh, you know, the, the steel worker, I wonder if that guy got tested. We need to test that guy. Make sure that guy doesn't have any kind of viruses from uh, being so close to, to Biden there. You know, yeah, he's got an AR-14 now. So, he's yeah, good. I know. <laughs> I, I've got one of those, too. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was uh, really, really, really funny. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.